This is Aaron Volkman with the Software Engineering Institute CERT Division. And I'm here to talk about uh, performing some dynamic analysis of a system before shipping it out. What uh, the intent of this is to uh, perform security scans uh, within a continuous integration, continuous delivery, DevOps like pipeline in order to automate some security testing in order to maximize our security posture for an application. This demo is to show uh, running Gauntlet, uh, wrapping and map uh, to check a box to verify that certain ports are open and certain ports are closed. Uh, here on the screen, what we have is a gauntlet.attack file. Uh, what gauntlet does is wraps certain uh, command line tools and uh, lets you express test cases in an expressive language, as well as uh, Gauntlet automatically parses the standard out and standard error of these command line tools so that we don't have to write any custom code to parse these things and uh, we can have a nice test case that we can uh, get a failure code you know, exit one from in order to uh, fail a build process or a deployment process if what we're pushing through a uh, development pipeline fails to meet one of our security checks. So as we see here, um, this is the end, the gauntlet attack file that defines the attack. Uh, we, the uh, host name can be extracted to be a parameter in order to, uh, so that we can make this reusable and not have to change this attack file. But for right now, we're gonna run this against localhost and this is going to run two tests, and the one that I'm going to pay attention to is uh, this check down here. Uh, in order for this test to pass, port 110 should be closed, and that's our mail port. And if we're uh, talking about a you know box that does not do mail, then it's probably a good idea for port 110 to be closed. I'm going to alt tab over to my terminal window, and I will run this uh, check against our local host and uh, port 110 is closed so we see everything's green and my have my uh, two ta tests here or my eight steps passing and the two scenarios passing just to show a failing condition i'm going to go back to my dot attack file i'm going to change this uh, test to say we're only good if port 110 is open, so I'll get a failure on this machine since 110, port 110 is closed. We'll go back to the terminal window and rerun what I just ran with my new attack file. And we see here that we're red, which typically means we're in a bad state. And uh, what we're seeing here is the output of the nmap command. And we see here that it, uh, the red starts with the output should contain 110 slash TCP open. It does not contain that. It says closed and then it gives the actual output so that we can do a sanity check against this. But this is the part that uh, this is the part that the actual attack is looking for. So right here I see that 110 is uh, closed so that our attack failed. Again, this is nmap wrapped with gauntlet. We would use this as part of a continuous integration, continuous delivery, or a manual uh, process, but ideally we would do this automated to do some security testing of virtual machines that we create or that we deploy to as part of a secure DevOps pipeline. Thanks again, this is Aaron Volkman with Software Engineering Institute, CERT Division.